kinds of cool stuff coming up in the show. We have the Fieldsmith Color Changing Chandelier. If you've not seen this before, it's the first time I've seen it. This year, I love this item. It's all sparkly. Uh, it, it actually has a color display. For less than $30 at your next party, you can make sure you are going to make everybody just drop right there because they're going to be like, oh my gosh, what is that? I want it. We have that coming up. And then the entire month of May, we are also celebrating Habitat for Humanity. And if you don't know anything about that, love you to get involved. Uh, we're uh, part of our HSN Cares program, uh, and we are actually donating $1 to Habitat for Humanity uh, for, uh, for purchases that you make. We have more details coming up on that later. And then in our At Home 101 segment, you know, it's all about this royal wedding coming up. So we've got some great ideas, royal wedding party ideas. That's what it's called. We have all that and a whole lot more coming up on this edition of At Home. All right, everybody, I'll get myself all ready to go here. Uh, you may have heard of our American Dreams program that we've been doing here at HSN. It's our ongoing search for uh, America's next great inventors and entrepreneurs. We scour the globe, literally scour the globe to try to find people uh, that have got great ideas. And we try to make those ideas uh, come true for them or those dreams come true for them. Uh, and one of our products that we've uh, picked up along the way is something called Fly Fix. And I will tell you something, it may seem like just a little thing, but anybody that has gone and bought fruit at the market, right? You buy bananas, you buy the beautiful papaya, maybe a mango, watermelon. Doesn't matter. Well, you love that fruit. It's delicious. Problem is, you're not the only one who loves that fruit. We have little friends, small little friends, that actually, they, they basically take a ride on our fruit, don't they, Mr. Tim Wilkins? They come home in the bag, or worse yet, they come home under the skin of the fruit. Really? They lay their eggs under the skin, yeah. and then they come out and... I see them all over my, like lemons and limes? Uh, tomatoes, potatoes, onions, things you wouldn't even imagine. Yeah. And then they breed really, really fast, and okay. then you have a fruit fly infestation. So what are we offering everybody today? We get two of the fruit fly catchers they're called fly fix, right? How do they work? Well, this is super easy. So Riley Teeter, who's, who came up with this idea, she yeah. had, people know her from, uh, she's the daughter of yeah, Roger, Roger's daughter. Roger's daughter. She has kids. She was cooking, uh, making some fruit for her kids, and she realized she had a fruit fly problem. So she went online and came up with this old time home remedy where you put some honey in the bottom of a mason jar, and you put a funnel in here, and there's, like there's a, a lot hole, of work, and they go in there. Well, it's not only a lot of work, but then the flies get in here, and everybody that comes over knows you got a, a fruit fly problem. You got, right. oh, you got a bug yeah. problem. Might not want to use that honey on anything. Report you to the uh, yeah. uh, health department. Okay. Well, then she went out and she bought a bunch. And not Fly all traps. these. She, they come in twos. They cost about 10 bucks a pair. Okay. And she realized quickly that not only were they not reusable, little toxic, and it was cash in the trash. She was just throwing yeah. away 100, 120 bucks a year trying to keep up with her fruit flies. Okay. So she created this super cool, reusable, non toxic fly killer where you can put in either a dry bait or a wet bait. By dry, we mean uh, fruit. So you can put in like the banana or banana. I like to use, well, that's a part I would eat, you're right. Yeah. I like to use uh, bananas, strawberries, and the other day I put in a little piece of melon rind. Well, then you, you lock it off. It and shows you, how to do it. There's the unlock button. There's three little icons on there. Unlock, there's a little water droplet on there, and that water droplet means that's open, and you can put water in there, swoosh it out, clean it, and reuse it again and again. Or lock, so once the fruit is in there, or once the red wine vinegar, once the wine, once the fruit that's juice an attractant. is in there, that's the attractant, that's the bait. Then they, the scent comes out of the scent vents, attracts them, they go down into the fly fix, and they don't come out. They're not laying 500 to 2,500 eggs under the skin of your fruit that carry E. coli and various yeah. other diseases. They're not getting your kids sick, your grandkids. I used to run restaurants, as you know, and, and one of the biggest culprits, and it was a pain in the neck for me, was uh, fruit flies getting into customers' drinks. And what, it, what they do is, you know, at a bar or restaurant, you have what we call the fruit tray, and it's got a little lid on it. But the flies that come off the fruit, they, they will zero in on fruit no matter where it is. They would come out of the kitchen, they would go into the bar, <clears throat> and they would literally live on the flute, on the, on the fruit tray, and you'd see them and you'd do this, and then a customer would be like, hey, there's a gin, in my gin and tonic, there's some fly in there, and you'd have to buy him a new one. He'd be like, oh, fruit flies, yeah, don't worry about it. It's disgusting. These are a very indiscreet 
way so you don't have to broadcast, hey, we got fruit flies, everybody. And you're using natural stuff. Now, they've yeah. got different colors. Here's the beauty of these. They don't look like fly traps. No. They don't look like an old fly strip. They're nice looking. They look like candles, votives, or sometimes they actually look like other pieces of fruit. Like this looks like a green apple. You're also, you're getting two of these, plus you're getting the holder with the magnet. So you can actually put this in your trash can or your sink. The other day, oh. I cut up a bunch of melons and had a whole fruit fly infestation in my trash can, pulled it out, put it down in there, and you're able to get them, you're, since you're getting to, you're able oh, to go so where the smart. fruit flies are. And the flies go in and they can't get out. They're attracted to whatever is inside there. So whether it's a piece of strawberry or banana, um, if you like uh, vinegar, you know, their vinegar is also very strong. It's a sort of a fruit-based product. They'll also go to vinegar too. So you put some cider like, vinegar or something. If you're gonna there. use wine, don't use the good stuff. They'll, they'll attract it to the vinegar. Vinegar's good too because it's naturally sanitizing and things like that. Very yeah. much so. Now, you got the three colors because we already, we sold out of the red, but we've got the, uh, the green, blue and your yellow and blue. But look at the green in the fruit bowl, just to see how yeah. this blends in with your natural decor. It looks like an apple. I didn't even know it was in there. You didn't even know it was in there. Right. And no one that comes over knows you have a fruit fly problem. You talked about the wine. Yeah. People come over to your house and they're sitting out on your, you have a little sangria that's got yeah. fruit and wine in it. Oh my God. And now they look in there, they need a coaster on top and a coaster on right. the bottom. Yeah. Fruit flies are like, welcome to the buffet. Hey baby. There's nothing better than that. Thanks for making my dinner. <laughs> um, well, listen, you don't have to worry about that. When you're having an outdoor party and fruit flies, fruit flies are like mosquitoes. They come from out of, out of nowhere. In fact, I can already see little fruit flies flying around here because they're attracted to all the fruit and all the stuff that we have here. It's good to know that they're going to go diving inside one of these things. And then all you do is rinse it out and get rid of it you don't you don't it's 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 humane there's no poison i think i like that more than anything is it you remember that off the tape you used to hang to get rid of flies oh, the fly strip oh, okay terrible there's riley actually reusing it and how easy this is it yeah. locks into place when you lock it into place when you're reusing it by the way you don't have to go back to the store and buy another I'll round of fruit traps and another there. round and the last time I didn't remember, I don't know if you've done this, you say, all right, here's the things I need, but you don't put them on a list. Right. And you keep, this isn't something that's gonna be top of mind, a fruit fly trap. So I forgot for a day, and then I forgot for another day, and before I know it, they lay 500 to 2,500 eggs in a 48 hour life cycle. So all of a sudden, that's how you've got a whole swarm Four all over your kitchen. Four dozen babies in two days. Four, for 500. 500, oh wait, that's, yeah, 40 dozen. Lay, 40 what? dozen, laying under the skin of your wow. fruit, under your melons, under your uh, potatoes and onions in that basket. Yeah. You, you gotta keep those in a dry place right. where the flies and, can get at them. Yeah, and remember, you, you don't know where those flies have been, literally, so you don't know what they've been landing on, if they've been outside, maybe they were outside where the dog had been. You never know, I'm just trying to create a little disgusting thing in your head so you understand. It's important that you take care of this. We're gonna give you two of these. Uh, they're less than $20 for the both. They're on FlexPay for $9.48. Uh, if you want to break up the payments, you can do that. But I love that uh, the Tim, and Tim just showed me this. So here's, here's how to set it up, right? They come together like this. There's the top, there's the bottom, right? You simply open it up, okay? Just like that. So there's the bottom. Take a little piece of banana and just have, you know, you put anything that's a fruit in there. Um, you know, it could be, uh, like we said, strawberry or, or a couple of grapes cut in half, whatever. And then you simply lock the lid on. What happens is the flies go down into that little teeny hole down there. Do you see it? And they go down there and as they say, once they get in, there's no way for them to get out. So they just kind of naturally eh, just go away. Now, I don't, I don't know about Danny, how much fruit he loves to eat. My little one. Oh, I he's fanatic about fruit. Fanatic. And the fruit right now yeah. is so fresh. The strawberries keep coming in. I just cut up a couple of stunning honeydews. The seedless yeah. watermelon is coming in. And you want to be able to eat all these fresh fruits and vegetables, but without the pestilence. You don't want to deal with all those things that come with it. You want to keep your, you're trying to feed them healthy snacks. Yeah. The last thing you need is stuff that's had a fruit fly in it or under it. My little oh. one is going nuts for the honeydew right now. And yeah. that's when I, whenever I cut those up and put those rinds in the trash, right. that's when we have those flies all over. And the other problem too is that most uh, fruit that you ripen, you do not want to put in the refrigerator, right? You might have just said that, but, but it, right, you really want to, you want to make sure it sits out, especially uh, things like, uh, you know, that, that take a couple of days to ripen. Avocados too. Avoc oh yeah. You don't want to put an avocado in a the, fridge. They'll never ripen. They'll never no. ripen. Peaches, forget it. You put them in the fridge, that's it. They're never going to ripen. Want to mention again, guy, if you use one one of the liquid baits like fruit juice, wine, or vinegar, you can turn this to the lock and that makes it more spill resistant. That little, okay. let's see, there it is right there. That's the little lock emblem. 
And then of course, when you go to dump this out or take it out, there's the water hole there to rinse that out. And there's the unlock and that comes right off. It is so simple so to easy. use and use and use and, and use. And remember, uh, uh, Tim brings along, you get the little uh, mounting uh, bracket that's a magnet so you can stick it right inside the, the uh, garbage pail if you have a, uh, you know, a steel garbage pail. Put it right inside and it'll sit there and it'll get all the flies so they're not flying around your garbage as well. 1895, Tim, thank you, buddy. Good, Good job. To see Good job. We're fly free right now, which I like. All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, we've got some great ideas coming up on, uh, on, our, uh, on our Pinterest page. These are wedding uh, ideas. As we know, we have a royal wedding coming up very soon. Get your friends together on Saturday. Watch the wedding of the year. Witness the royals say I do with these festive decorations and recipes. Uh, and make sure you visit uh, HSN's Party of the Year board on Pinterest if you want to get more great party ideas. Also, I want to run you coming up in just a bit. This is just for today. We've got the Good Dirt Naturals. Uh, we, I am really, really excited about this, about this brand new brand. Al Newsom's here. He's gonna tell you how you can make the most delicious salad ever right in your backyard, right on your porch. And if you like that beautiful, uh, the assorted greens like that, you know, they all grow together. There's four separate things and they grow in like a, it's like somebody took your salad bowl and turned it upside down and they're all growing. <laughs> we have that and we also have the kale salad. I had a kale salad last night. It's so sad. I'm getting Danny to eat kale. Are you serious? Rebecca Wood, Danny is eating kale. Yeah, you he loves tell it. me how you're doing. Well, I do that little balsamic vinaigrette dressing with cranberries and, and uh, pistachios. Ooh. This dude sucks that down like he's breathing I air. I think the best way to taste kale is in the garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Kyle's saying I need to get out from behind uh, this beautiful thing. But I'm, I'm actually providing a backdrop, Kyle, so you can see. See through it. The beautiful colors. You see how um, it's moving in the. This in is the, uh, the beautiful Rebecca Wood, who's Hi. also here, who you always bring such great decorative stuff when you come on air. This, Thank I remember. You from Thank last you. year mm -hmm. and I loved it then um, because I can't believe you get so much for such a great great value and a price because this literally looks like a gorgeous glass chandelier but actually it's little mirrors and little reflective little pieces uh, all the way around and then there's a light that hangs in the middle it's so it's it's like it's whimsical. mesmerizing it it's is. glamorous it's, it's elegant beautiful. I love it and the best part is you can add all of that the glamour and the elegance to like any to place it. in your I know I love to jelly. I want to just like, run my hands through it it's like a jet like a jellyfish <laughs> in the ocean it's look. like a that, that is a great yeah, I yeah, like yeah. that but beautiful? you can add it anywhere you want indoors outdoors under a covered patio a porch maybe a gazebo <gasps> so that's the look beauty the of it light. you can see it right now we're in the middle of the day you know it's a light fixture that's gorgeous that requires no hard wire, no outlets, no cords. You just need a teacup hook and you can hang this yeah. baby anywhere. And even in the middle of the day, look how stunning it is. Look inside. Because they're just, a, it hangs on a halo uh, metal rack up here. Yeah. And each one bulbs? of them, do you see the bulbs there? The bulbs And they'll inside, morph through the different colors. They're changing colors. Can you see how they're changing colors? It might be hard. I know in, in the video that you oh, can actually see, see it, but you can it. see it there. Yeah. So that's going to play through the gems that are in here. We have acrylic beads that kind of look like the seashells. So and then we've pretty. got some crystal beads and the metal, and they'll all glisten in the sun. And then at night, yeah. it's a completely memorized. Where, now, what? where do I plug it in? I don't have to you deal. Don't I don't to. see no it's wires. Triple triple A batteries that come with it. Oh, it's what? that simple right on top. And then you just hang it wherever you want to. It will shimmer in the during the day as you were just seeing, but at night, those um, energy efficient LED light bulbs will morph through the beautiful colors and you can place it absolutely it's, anywhere. It's such a beautiful piece. And this is, the, you know what, this is one of those pieces when you buy it and somebody comes to your house for a cookout or a barbecue and they go, Oh my gosh, that's the most adorable thing ever. Um, you could use it as a full-time sort of a fixture. You could use it as a part-time fixture. If you wanted to hang it in your in your commode uh, for a party, just because you don't want to have bright light in there, but you want something soft, it's ideal for that. We get people that buy 10, 5, 10, uh, 12 of these things, and they use them for their wedding. Because oh they're my goodness, so that's a great right? idea. They're so beautiful and they're so festive. Um, it will sell out again. It always does. If you'd like it today, um, we're doing it at eleven dollars and sixty-five cents. That's your flex pay. Um, but really, 
there's so much work that goes into this. I mean, it there is. to me, it's, it looks like a lot more than $35 worth of work that goes into this. And if you look at how artistic it is, it's very, can I say, it's like bohemian, chic -y kind of? Yeah, well, right? that's what, you know what I love about it is it kind of has different vibes. So no matter what your decor is, it's right. going to pick that up. If you've got more of a chic kind of vibe, it will definitely yeah, fit there. Moroccan, it's very kind of 70s island. to me. I don't know why it seems 70s it's to me. It's beautiful. Yeah. And you can see there's just a simple hook. I'd ask somebody around here, but I don't think it. any of these guys were alive in the 70s. I was born. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel better. Where's Tim Wilkins? Can I show you this, though? Because I'm going to I know he was there. <laughs> he was definitely there. You can see this one strand. It's 31 inches long, and it's about just shy of 9 inches wide. But they've got this beautiful kind of turquoise. It's beautiful. Acrylic beads. Yeah. And then the crystals that hang. Every single piece was chosen because it will reflect the light of the daylight. So in the daytime... This, the wind just will pick it up yeah. and it will make it shimmer and shine. And, and will you tell everybody too, because a lot of people are like, they love that it's batteries, that they don't have to yes. plug it in, but then they're like, am I going to have to replace these batteries every month? No. Will you talk about the type of light that we're using here? This is an LED light, which you know is the workhorse of, of lights, right? Yes. It lasts forever. It sips. Everything it is sips LED the now, batteries, gosh. Everything, yeah. because they are so energy efficient yeah. and they stay cool to the touch and they're shatterproof. So that's why everybody loves LED so much. These will more through the colors and they will just sip the battery so you're going to get the triple a's that you need for this it only is triple a's and you can see them kind of morph through the colors but you don't have to worry about this even if you have it outdoors under a gazebo or a porch they're shatterproof they never heat up and then they will just shine right through all of the beads as in well this is a light hands show. down one of my favorite uh, decorative pieces that we carry here i've always loved this when i first saw it it was either last year or the year before and we brought it in we don't bring in a ton of them guys we bring in a, a couple thousand that's not a lot, but when I saw it, I was just like, this is so artistic and so kind of deco-y and kind of like 70s. And, but like you said, it could really be anything you want it to be. You could put this out on your on your patio. It's, it's indoors or outdoors. You could put it outside too. Um, but even a special occasion, like I said, if you're having a wedding and you want to put two of these, you know, a nighttime wedding, you want to put two of these on either oh, side of the bride and the groom. so beautiful. You want to you do these to light up an area of a buffet. And I remember, these are more, um, you know, uh, background lighting type stuff. They're not like bright, bright lights. But I love that it'll go through its little color change that reflects off uh, reflects off all the little mirrors there are little mirrors they've got these mirrors. beautiful turquoise um, acrylic beads and then at the very bottom there's crystals so everything that was chosen on here will reflect that light yeah. and that's what creates that that light show i just think it adds elegance and charm and beauty to areas that you usually can't do that you usually have to ex hardwire one of these out in your porch or your patio yeah. it's a teacup hook you can see right great. here and if i show you the top you can see it's on this metal halo frame but it's just a simple on or off that is it and the batteries go right in there and it's as you can see we also have it it's it's weatherproof so it can go outside and I, you don't have to do you, you don't have to put nothing together I no, don't think, right nothing so you just open it up and you it pulls out of the box and you just turn it on oh that's right <laughs> that's because it. because look this is what it does when it's not being used it just it actually will come in a, in a flat pat box just like that. And you'll just pull it up these. and put it up. Yeah. You know, I wanted one the first time we did this and I forgot to get it, but I want to get one of these. I think this would be cool. I just I have, love it. Uh, I have my house is blue and white. I have pinstripe awnings outside, but they're blue. So I, this could go out on like on where the barbecue area is if I want to, oh, you know, if I want to jazz it up a I little bit. I was just going to say put a feminine touch to because, a very manly yeah, because area. Because it's all man over there. <laughs> you got to have There's a feminine touch. a lot of man touch. going on. you got to lighten it up a little bit. Isn't it just beautiful under the porch and you can create... <laughs> yeah, I just love it. It just is mesmerizing, I think. <laughs> and, and we're giving you some ideas of how nice it looks. Look at how peaceful that is. And right? indoors, too, because it will still sure. reflect the sunlight indoors yeah. as well. All right. We are going to go a little bit longer on this. Is it, I, I knew it because this... Look at it at night. So you know that's the neat part about it is it's... Is, it's pretty during the day, but it's also... That's it. How many yeah. light fixtures can you say are just as pretty during the day as they are at night? Okay. And if I can show you, there's going to be these two LED light bulbs inside, and they just morph through every color of the light... Uh, the rainbow, I should say, but slowly. And that's what makes it so mesmerizing, so elegant, so glamorous, because these lights are going to reflect off this beautiful kind of mirror <laughs> and these acrylic beads I and the crystals. I, mean, I think symmetry. I have to bite See, I'm. Yeah. I always get made fun of because I love two of everything because I like yeah. the symmetry. No, remember when we? Remember when you? Kyle keeps yelling <laughs> at me yelling because I'm like, him. don't look at me. I don't want to be on TV. <laughs> what? Hi. You want to see me? Keep covering myself. <laughs> um, 
No. <laughs> so the reason you want to get two, first of all, because, you know, it's like I agree with you. I think it's easier to decorate with two. Yes. Uh, these are kind of cool and symmetrical. So you could, well, you, here's what you could do. If you really want to be cool and different, don't hang them at the same height. Maybe maybe make one a little bit lower than the other one if you're hanging them near each other. So you kind of stagger one, almost like you would right. paintings on a wall. Um, you could do that. Um, I'm going to remind you, I have 2,000 left. Um, folks online, we're getting, uh, we're getting a little bit limited on it. So if you'd like to get it, and you want to get a couple of these. These are great for, um, what, what, what holidays do we have coming up? We got Memorial Day. Fourth of July. Fourth of this July. Be beautiful because it does morph right from yeah. that red into the blue. What else um, we got? We had all the graduation parties well, coming up. Labor too. Day will come eventually. Labor Day. So, so throughout the summer, this will be so much the fun holidays, for entertaining. This would be stunning in the holidays. Yeah, man. Yeah. Just, just, or, or like we said, you can keep it inside, or you could put it outside. And no wires. No, you don't. No outlets. And you no give cords. me the batteries, That's right? That's it. And the batteries come with it. I don't know what I got to do. Just like that. I can, I'm going to drive it to your house. Is that what I have to do to get you to pick this thing up? <laughs> anyway, uh, you're going to love it. Rebecca, you're the best. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, so you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. 599 is the item number if you want to get something super cool and dress up your property and so people around the neighborhood will be like, you know, I didn't think he was cool, but now I think he's really cool. I think cool he might be. Because he bought that cool <laughs> shimmering chandelier. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you something that's definitely cool, and that is HSN Cares. And if uh, any of you have been involved with it before, you would know that uh, anybody that's donated and helped us out, we appreciate Appreciate all your help. Um, HSN Cares uh, is really at the heart of everything do. we do. It's all about giving back and trying to help folks out. Uh, what Habitat for Humanity does is it empowers uh, women and it helps them uh, do that through affordable home ownership. We've got team members uh, that volunteer thousands of hours uh, and you can see some of them. You can see Debbie Denman there, uh, the lovely Valerie, is that Robin right there? All our girls uh, and guys are like helping people achieve home ownership. Uh, this year, some of our hosts helped out uh, and that house was built entirely by women women. So uh, listen, we are going to donate a dollar from every at-home uh, item sold during the at-home in the month of May. Uh, if you want to be a part of that, we would appreciate that very, very much, everybody. My children uh, can grow up. It's created a, a lot of stability for us. My daughter is very excited. She's going to have a yard to play in. She's going to have somewhere she can ride her bike. She's going to have neighbors to grow up with. None of this could have happened without your donations. Thank you. Uh, check out the Habitat for Humanity page and see how you can help make a difference in people's lives. Uh, we've got donations for whatever you like, but $3 would be great, 085-992. All right, I am really excited. You know, we have had so much success and so much uh, good fortune with all the wonderful plants uh, and flowers and things that we are bringing uh, to you here. Um, Al Newsom is here with me. He's the co-founder of Good Dirt. Uh, Dirt. Uh, he's a product developer. He's been in this business for a very, very, very long time. Yes, Not so long. We, we, we won't tell him how many look, years. Yeah, right? we, look, we still look good. <laughs> Because uh, you're eating right, obviously. Uh, yeah. But you bring us uh, the most amazing product, and it's a this day only. And I will tell you, I will get off air, and I will buy this in a second. Yeah. You heard me talking about how I was, I've turned my son on to kale salads because yes. I make this fancy <laughs> dressing. But I love this type of lettuce. I'm not a big, um, you know, iceberg guy. I like right. the leafy greens. Yes. You give yeah. us two configurations. Uh, one is the kale mix, uh, and then the other is the uh, Simply Natural salad mix. So it's the salad uh, mix or it's the kale mix. Um, um, basically, yeah. we have like a salad in a pot. That's what we got here, Absolutely. buddy. Absolutely. It's an easy way to have a gourmet salad at home. I, I love this. And Most people don't think they can grow lettuce at home. That's right. And we're right. making it really easy. All right. So what do we do so, and what do we get? Okay. So with the alfresco salad, there are five different lettuces and greens in okay. this one plant. So okay. the technology allows us to plant these all together. So when you plant them at home in your container or in your raised bed or in the ground, right. this these plants will grow out together as one As one plant. big, thick thing of yes. salad, okay. So no need to buy five separate plants right. to grow your salad. It's all in one. Look at this. I, I, we have yeah. to show you the before and after. Can I just do that really yeah, quick? So, so this is the same bucket. All right, there's the bucket when, you know, as you as you would start, the one underneath right yeah. there, and then we'll show you the plants, but this is what happens. They all grow. I love the idea of putting them in this bucket. Yeah, that, right, is that it's absolutely. So, so talk to so. me about what we get and, and how do we do it. Okay, and then with the kale salad, yeah, there, the kale. there are three kale varieties, again, grown out as one. So when you're taking, the, when you this is the plant you'll receive at home. Right. You wanna come and plant it in your container Okay. And you said you can do it in the ground too if you want to. Absolutely, too. absolutely. I like containers because I can control it a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, you know, the watering and the sun and all that yep. stuff too. Now, what about that water and sun? How, about, okay. how do I do with that? So after we, after you plant it in your container or in the braised bed or the ground, yeah. you want to water it in. 
and within two to three weeks, the plant is going to be large enough where you can start harvesting. Okay. I'm just going to do one because I want to show you how easy sure it is. Sure thing. Absolutely. So there's three. So we're going to have four of these all together, correct? That you get four in the kit. What I like to do at home with those four plants, uh, put them in different containers or I may put them in a raised bed. Yeah. And as they grow, I may harvest from one plant one week right. and then the next week from another and while you're doing that you're rotating because they're yeah. going to flush back out for so you can harvest again and again and again and again, again. And again. so yeah. you're kind of managing it as well uh, right. we have the kale variety we also have the summer salad variety um, this is a this day only so the regular price is going to be $19.95 we dropped it to $14.95 it's on flex pay and only three dollars to ship uh, that's what the kale looks like when it really gets uh, cooking there and you can you know eat it piecemeal yep. if you'd uh, like absolutely you can harvest the whole thing Thing, but Absolutely. boy, there's there's something about it that that when you plant your own like fruits and vegetables, it's so rewarding. Uh, oh, it's you so know? gratifying. It's yeah. my therapy in the garden. Yeah. And uh, again, this is great for you if, if you have a small area. Yeah. Uh, we live in an uh, urban yeah. neighborhood in downtown Raleigh. I have a tiny yard. I have no place for for it, to same here. So we're planting in our containers on our deck, our front yeah. porch. Uh, we're mixing in with other plants, a petunia or a uh, tropical, like yeah. a croton. So use it as an ornamental as well as an edible. Yeah. How, how long so, before I can harvest? What, how long does it take two about? Two to three weeks. Really? Clip, clip down. So this about, is fast growing. It's fast growing. And clip, and after that harvest, it's going to flush back out within a couple weeks. That is. So, so you're going to be eating delicious salad all summer long. Now's the time to get it. Yeah. All the instructions on what they need That's to right. do come um, with it. Absolutely. And it's very simple. Yeah. And one thing to point out that sure. it's being sold under the Good Dirt Naturals brand. What does that mean? Yeah. It's, it means it's been all naturally grown. So it's been grown in the Good Dirt mix. Yes. It's been treated with the beneficial microbes. Right. And it's been fed with the organic based plant food. Right. So no chemicals. It's right. all natural approach. You, you know, there was just a big thing in the news about bad lettuce. Right. I don't know if you read, oh, yeah, 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 right. you read about that. I a think I'll go all mine at home from now yeah. on. <laughs> and you know, because that's out of your control. This is in your backyard or out on your patio or your deck. You give it yeah. some sunshine and you will have the most delicious salad. Remember, right. I would get both. Get a kale. Get a regular one uh, as well, um, yeah. and this is how it how it comes when you order it. It comes in the in the small individual plants. That's right. And all That's you right. need to do is just transplant yeah. them with some good mix. Just pop it out of the pot. Yep. Take your your, your good dirt hand digger. Yep. Put your hole. Pop drop it the in. plant in. I can't wait to do this. Back fill water, oh. and you're good to go. Delicious, healthy salads anytime you want. Extremely busy right now. Take advantage. Uh, I would get I would get one of each. Try them both. There's nothing better than mixing kale with the regular leaf lettuce as well. Yep. Oh, great job. All right, good thank to you see so you, much. Oh, by the way, I like your shirt. Oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, yeah, see, brilliant minds think alike. All right, buddy. We'll be seeing right, you a little bit you so later. Uh, hey, I want to remind everybody, we got lots of cool things coming up in our show. Uh, where am I heading? Where am I going? This way? Okay. Oh, good. We got, uh, coming up a little bit, we got the doormats. Those are coming up. And let me tell you, the key <clears throat> to saving your floors and keeping your house clean is keeping that dirt and the debris on the outside. That's the key. And the way you do that is with these fancy doormats. Uh, people won't even know there's dirt on them. They, they hide the dirt. They have little fingers inside. Real AstroTurf, all right? And that's a, that's a registered trademark name. Real AstroTurf. So that it gets in and it pulls the dirt off your shoes. It pulls it off your feet. It gets everything nice and clean. And it leaves it on the outside where it belongs. Anyway, we got a two-pack of those coming up in just a bit. We'll get more to that in a little bit. Um, by the way, <clears throat> free shipping on select Earthwise tools. Uh, if you don't know Earthwise, they're one of our electronic brands uh, that we have on HSM. And um, I love it because all uh, their stuff is uh, cordless. Uh, they use uh, rechargeable batteries, so you don't have that fumes and all that stuff going into the environment. But we've got a great sale with some free shipping on items as well. Anyway, uh, we uh, we were uh, supposed to do an uh, airing and a presentation with Luke Caputo. I don't. I haven't seen him. Uh, there is a man sleeping next to me in a in an impromptu hammock that he just brought out here. Luke Caputo, everybody, hanging out. This is our hammock. Uh, this is to us uh, from a uh, from an incredible company uh, called uh, Fieldsmith. Love these guys, and this hammock is absolutely spectacular. Now, let me give you my quick story, Lou. Okay. Uh, my dad had a hammock in the side yard. I've had a hammock, uh, when I moved, first moved to the beach and I was living on the water, I had to dig a hole, I had to drop a post in cement, yep. and I had to tie it to a tree. That hammock was never going anywhere. It stayed in one spot. <laughs> my dad's hammock, I, uh, it, it collapsed once while I was in it. <laughs> that was very unfortunate. But we have a hammock now that we can take absolutely anywhere. Anywhere.
anywhere. And the price on it is great. It's only $129. I know you were on with this the other day. People went crazy for oh, it. Yeah. So yeah. I'll let you get right into it. Okay, it, it, you know what's crazy about this? It's unlike any other hammock I've ever seen. Because, yeah. you know, to your point, you don't need to put posts in the ground. You don't need no. two trees. You don't need a tree. No, and it only weighs about 36 and a half pounds when it's compacted down. You're carrying it in the carrying case. And it comes with a canopy. Yeah. When, when have you ever seen this. a hammock? So, okay, so this is for field stream made by Origami, okay? Right. Um, it is a powder-coated steel frame all the way around. You get everything you see here. So you're going to get the hammock, you get the pillow, you get the canopy, and you get the carrying case. So everything's going to come with this. And even the chains on this. We've got steel chains on here. I mean, this thing is just rugged. It holds up to 225 yeah. pounds. Yep. Um, and let me show you how it sets up, because this is okay. the amazing part. You think, you look at something like this, and you're like, all right, this is going to be a project, okay? It's not. It's so not. here's the case that it comes in. Where's your tool bag. kit? Do you need a tool kit? Don't need a tool kit. Download. I don't need anything. But here's the whole bag right here. Watch so everything, this. everything's in here. So we're gonna unzip the bag. You're gonna love this because it's so it's really just crazy, crazy easy to do. Anybody can do this, it takes seconds. Now we know that since it's made by the fine folks at Origami, watch this. If I take out the frame of the bag here, gotcha. I want you to see how easy it is watch to set this. this up, okay? I'm gonna set it down on the ground right here. Watch, watch, watch. Watch this. Ready? There's the frame. Done. 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 That's the frame. <laughs> That's okay. the bottom. That's the support. So here's my pillow. I'm going to take that out of here. It comes with a pillow? comes with the I pillow. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. This thing, this thing is amazing. It's my new favorite item, I'm telling you. Okay, so I'm going to unroll this. Now, what I want you to see is on the ends here, all you have to do is take these little silver hoops right here, and you just fit them over the ends like that. So you just grab one. Very, very simple to do, mm -hmm. and put it over the end. And that's secured. There's nothing you have to tighten down. We do nothing the same else. thing over here. I'll yeah. give you that one. Okay. So all you have to do is just grab this. Let me thread this through here. There we go. Okay, watch. Pull. You got it? Did I do it? Simple. Okay, now. Look. How do we put the canopy on? Because this yeah. is the part, it took me a little while. I stared at this and I go, well, there are no supports for the canopy. Watch this. This is genius. Oh, don't tell me they're built in. <laughs> oh, don't tell me they're built in. That's the support. Look, did you, can, you, can we, can you get a shot of my hand? Yeah. Watch the support. I was looking around for the poles. <laughs> no. Look, they're built in. It's part of the unit. Oh so my. you're never going to lose just, these. They, they flex? They flex. So when you put it on there, so let me put the top How on and I'll show you. How smart is that? The way this goes on is really simple. It's amazing. They make this so easy to do. So now you can take it to the beach. You know, you can take it to the kids' games if you're watching a soccer game Got or it. anything like that. Okay, so there's that one side. Now I'll leave that them. down there. Yep, I'll leave them down. And I'm while just going to undo this side. side. And then so all you do is do this. And then all it is is just a little nylon loop that goes over this knob on the end. I here. have Very 1900 simple. if you're interested in this. And Lou, we have uh, uh, two colors, right? Yes, we've got the blue and we've got the so red. So we have blue and gray, and then we have red and gray. Correct. Now what do we do? Am I lifting? You're just going to lift these up here. And what you want to do is, watch this. Just, oh, there you go. Yeah, just grab the side here and just pull this out. Yeah, I got and it. And then it just goes into place. That's it. <laughs> How easy was this? That is the coolest thing ever. Okay, so if you're wondering how long is it gonna last, it's made of this heavy duty, heavy denier, uh, durable poly material. It's, right. gonna, it's, it's waterproof, weatherproof. Yep. Uh, you know what, I, I'll tell you, last year, I remember when we had, we had a version of this last year and I saw a guy bring it to the beach. I was the most envious person on the planet because there's nothing for like a hammock for comfort. No. It adjusts to everybody. As we said, well over 200 pounds, so don't worry about that. Bring it to the pool, bring it to the park. Uh, you will be the envy of everybody out there. The whole thing wraps up and it gets zipped up in a little tiny bag. It's like, it's almost like you, you open this up and immediately become the envy of everyone. No, you really do. Right? Well, because you know, we're so used to a hammock being something that's either stationary or it's right. got this huge metal frame that has to be, Look you know, fit thing. together and you need the screwdriver and all kinds of tools. You don't need anything for this. Now, if I want to take it apart, watch how easy this is to do. So all I'm going to do is just take the canopy off and all you do is just take those loops off. So the, your, end, your, d your day is done on the beach. Yep. It collapses itself down it like that. It collapses itself down. Right. Okay, so, you know, if we were really packing this up, I'd be neat about this and putting it in there. Take the two hooks off like this. Now, here's the cool part. Watch this. When I, when I take the frame down, right, I'm going to take yeah. this part out of here, take the bed out and the pillow. All you have to do, and by the way, there is a mesh net underneath this, so if you want to keep things in there, yeah, so you keep you them out of the sand or out of the dirt. Like yeah. That, yeah. Well, watch this. You lift it. Done. <laughs> That's ready to go in the bag. All right. If you are not ordering this right now, 
I'm telling you, you you're going, you, you're crazy because this is so incredible. Now, you know that origami, we built these things with structural strength. There's a whole team of people, uh, you know, in these companies that work on that exact feature, which is making sure that it's easy to open and close. That's because if it's a pain, you're not going to do it, right? If it takes you 30 minutes, do you ever watch a poor dad and, uh, go to the beach with his kids oh, yeah. and he brings one of those tents and you realize <laughs> yes. he has to pound in each and nail in each spike and then he has to try to lift it one side at a time and Ooh. then he tries to get the canopy to fit over the top of it. It's 45 minutes for a dad to, or a mom to actually have to put that thing up. Yep. Lou has just put this up. He's only spent about 60 seconds so far on it. Very easy. And much. I will assist you on this end. Sure. And you all you do lift. is just pull the poles out. Yeah. Very easy to do, just like that. There's one. And the night, you know, the nice thing is that, you know, we're very sensitive now about getting too much sun, Look at too it. much exposure. Look at that. You've got a built-in canopy, so you Isn't don't need fantastic? trees. You don't have to worry about I, shade. I you bring it with. If you've got little ones, right, especially real little ones, and you're worried about them getting too much sun, right. uh, this is ideal because you have that protective canopy. And you can use it with the canopy or without, but I'm telling you, you'll love it. Portability, practical. Stick this in the trunk of the car, bring it to, it'll be more comfortable than any beach chair you've ever had. You can bring extra pillows if you like to prop yourself up a little bit, but boy, you know, I, there's nothing beats the relaxing day. I'll let, yeah, Lou, jump in there. You're on a bit of a hill, but you should be okay. No, I'll be fine. Um, nothing can beat the relaxing Look feeling of being in a hammock. And Lou and I are both in the 200 pound range. 200 pound range. I would say that. So uh, <laughs> we can both get on this and not have to worry about it. Very comfy. Um, so if you are looking for a great gift <sighs> for somebody, in fact, the, shouldn't, should we just paint Father's Day Father's on the side Day. of this? Yeah. You get this for that. You know the dad that has everything? Yep. The father, you know, you buy, all right, he doesn't need another hammer. He doesn't need another measuring tape. Yeah. Lord knows he doesn't need ties. No. Why did they ever buy dad's ties? I guess ties, dads wore ties a long time ago. At one time, people wore ties to work, Church, maybe, right? Yeah, maybe church. Maybe church. <laughs> um, so, so bless you for that. But uh, let me tell you, if you really want to hit dad where he lives, <laughs> poor dad works uh, all the time, right? Same with mom. You know, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, saying either one. Whoever, whoever needs a break, dad or mom will absolutely love this. They'll love the facts that you can collapse this thing down, and I can help Lou out here. In seconds. And then I just pull the top off. Lou, yeah. Lou grabs that. Look at this thing. Take the lid off here. You know, it all the, rolls up too, well, by the way. And you know, the thing is that if something's hard to set up, if it's difficult to I do, you, you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. No. With this, it's so simple. Watch how I just do this in a couple of seconds. Yeah. Now, we would be neater if we were actually putting it back in the bag, but. Right. I mean, essentially, we're That's done. That's usually the hard part. And talk to me about the construction here, Lou. Why is this? Why is this such an integral part of this? Of well, this here, here's product? the thing. This, so like all origami products, it's yeah. powder coated steel. And the reason they powder coated is powder coating is going to be resistant to chips and scratches. Absolutely. So really portable, but also it's corrosion resistant. Yeah. Okay. So it's it, you can take it to the beach. You don't need to worry about salt water around this. Yeah. Um, it's going to last for years and years because of that. And when you look at it, the finish on it, you'll see it's it's the, when they when they uh, apply that material on and yep. Lou just said it's not done like with a brush <coughs> or a spray it's actually no. done with an electronic charge right yeah they put a, they put electricity <coughs> through the metal and then they spray it with a dry it powder coating material it just wraps it around the whole thing yeah so so it almost cures to the metal it does yeah all right yeah. so it's really neat um we only have about a minute left quickly on the features it's made of that durable poly material and steel Okay, uh, the only uh, the only um, composite or plastic material is on the joint material where it has to fold. Right. Uh, and that's also to protect the ends so you don't have any sharp ends on any of the metal. You get the pillow. Uh, you have a shelf underneath which you can store stuff. So you can put your towels, you can put your lunch, you can keep it up off the ground so the flies or the ants won't get to it. Yep. Uh, and then this blue is amazing. Isn't it great? Um, you, also, um, you know, you can put, you even put a, a little small cooler under there, uh, whatever it is. Just remember, you know, if you're a big person, you don't want to squash anything under there. So just be judicious <laughs> with that. Um, I love this color. This color I would get. Th this, this is, is like nice. a, this is mint, like a mint green. It's a mint green. Yes. Well, uh, here's the other thing too. Remember, old mint hammocks had color. like one point where they were secured, and so they would have a tendency to kind of do this when you sat in them. They would want to roll. Yeah, I this, know. This, this, if I sit on the end and watch this. That happened to me a couple parties, Lou. Right. I got in a hammock and it rolled. Not gonna me. roll. Yeah. Not gonna my roll. Dad, <laughs> my dad did a hammock in the backyard and I was the first one to test it. Right. And one of the things fell on the backside. And I, even if you drop <laughs> a foot from a hammock, it hurts. Oh, it's jarring. It's very jarring. <laughs> What's nice about this is you don't have to worry about that. Uh, it's yeah. all good to go. Thanks, Lou. You're welcome, uh, By the way, uh, great job. We are extremely busy. I knew we would be uh, on this item. If you want to get it home for $25.99, it's on FlexPay. And I don't think you have any more earrings today. This is it? This is it. So yeah. grab it while you can. Head start into being relaxed this summer. Thank you again, my You're friend. You're welcome. Good to see you. Hey, uh, coming up in just a little bit, um, and it's going to be with Peter again. 
Uh, this, in all likelihood, will sell out very quickly. We all have an issue like trying to keep the hedges trimmed, right? I was just looking at my yard yesterday. I'm like, dang, I gotta get out there and do these hedges. They stay in front of my picture window and I can't see outside, so I, I have to trim them. Um, but I have this big industrial trimmer uh, and it's, it's so much more than I need. I just wanna kinda manicure stuff, you know what I'm saying? So uh, anyway, this does that and it'll also help you trim the grass. At the same time, it's truly a two-in-one. There's even a little walking pole. I call it the walking stick that attaches to the trimmer so that you can clean up those yards without bending over. Nobody wants to hurt their back. As I get older, that's the issue I deal with a lot of times. And Pete, who's as old as me, he, he might even be older. Pete deals with the same issues uh, about, you know, nobody wants to get older. You gotta, I don't want to bend over as little as I have to, right? And this makes it very, very easy for you. Um, by the way, very popular in the hour is the chandelier. The shimmering, color-changing chandelier. You gotta get one of these, Pete. Put that outside, Debbie would love it. No? Yes, you're gonna love it too. Uh, it has a little light show that goes on inside. It comes with batteries. You don't have to plug anything in. And it's LED, so the batteries are gonna last you months and months and months. And it, look at how pretty that is. I mean, it is gorgeous. Great for a party, great for any time of year. $34.95 from Fieldsmith. Love that company. All right, so we're gonna move on. And we are gonna talk about these amazing mats. Um, if you have never seen our AstroTurf mats, you're in for a big treat because these things are truly amazing. A lot of us settle for these kind of old school, <clears throat> you know, the, uh, the fiber mats or whatever they are. I think this is made out of coconut fiber. Some are made out of bamboo, whatever material. They don't really absorb a lot of the mess and you can see them right here. A lot of them don't, don't have anywhere for this mess to go so it kind of just trickles in or out wherever you walk. But when you get the AstroTurf mats, you'll be amazed at how they take the dirt off your shoes, off your feet, off little paw prints if you've got a pet. They're amazing. Peter Kilcullen is here. These are a customer pick, by the way. Uh, everybody loves these. And Pete, hey guy. do we actually get two of these? Yes, yeah, this is a great set that you have two, which I love because then you're gonna be able to have it at your front door, you're gonna be able to have one at the back door. Now, where I have one in the house, and it has made such a huge difference, is going to be in our garage. We've got the little step up into the kitchen. Because here's what's so nice about these mats. When you get these and they're able to trap yeah. all the dirt and the sand. Pete, there's like 10 pounds of dirt in there. Right. Look well, at that. It, it traps that dirt. I think it's really neat that it's doing what you want a mat to do, right? Yeah. It's keeping all the dirt, all the sand, all the grit from getting into the house. So maybe you're protecting those hardwood floors, which is really nice. But then you're also maybe sweeping less. You're maybe having to vacuum less. I can tell you, for me, when we have this mat outside that door that leads from the garage into the kitchen, it is perfect. Because the problem in Florida is the sand Pete, guy, let's right? do it. We Show get so me. much sand. So it does such a great job. So when you look at these mats, look at this one. All those fingers, that's what's grabbing all that dirt. So how about this boot right here, for an example? All that sand and dirt. When you go across that mat, it scrapes the bottom of that boot, grabs all the sand and dirt, but what you don't see, you don't see it laying on top. So what's interesting is that I was still able to clean that boot, but what if I had been having you know, people in and out of the house for months and months and months? Look at this, I wanna show you that that wasn't the first boot that we oh scraped gosh. the sand off. How much that you got in there? This is what is so amazing, durable, Really great looking, but then all that sand was in this mat and it still worked. You were talking about those mats earlier. You know what happens, you know, so many times. Oh, well, here it is. You're seeing that, that boot and you're seeing those fingers, that real astroturf, yeah. grabbing, scraping They're the bottom like scrapers, of the boot. Pete. That's right. what they look like. But what's so cool about it is then all of a sudden all that dirt and grit falls down in between all those little fingers. And so it doesn't cause those, you know, kind of dirty spots. You remember when right. you, you get, we went on that mat over there and I, I've had this before with these old mats they get dirty and moldy you you get to the front door and you're looking for that one little section yeah. that's not that dirty hasn't been scraped right off. so i have an area to clean my right. feet but here with these door scraper mats they always look great they always trap the dirt and i know you've seen me do this guy you know many times i and still think you have a trap door <laughs> under there i think you're making this up well because what anyway. happens is when you see all that sand and dirt where is it going just Pete? go down into that mat that's why it's so perfect it's not laying on the surface so this mat is great and it continues to grab that dirt so think about how many times you've walked into your own house and you're thinking you're spending extra time out in front of the right. house trying to get that dirt off your shoes now it's going to take you just seconds and what about the kids 
And what about when you're in a hurry and you just walk across that mat? What's neat about this is when I walk across the mat without even stopping and doing the whole wiping your feet, right. it's doing the job. So yeah. even if you walk across it, it's going to do a better job. Isn't that cool? It is. And, Feels and, good too, right? And yeah, it really <laughs> does. Even if you got bare feet. And what I like to do when the kids are really messy, have them just do a little spin like that. And you'll see, the, sure. you'll see the stuff come off your shoes. Oh, yeah. And we live, Pete knows, we live near the beach. So the issue I have is sand. And I got, you know also, because you've been to my house, I've got the most, I have beautiful hardwood floors in there that are like 100 years old. Right. I can't afford to get sand in on those floors. It'll ruin Absolutely. them. Absolutely. This will do it. Yeah. I mean, it really is, it's just nice that you're going to be so happy that you have a doormat that does what it should do. And then you're going to have a doormat that's going to last a long time. I've had mine well over a year. And the great thing is it looks absolutely no different from the day we put it right. out there. It continues to work. You know what I did the other day? So we're showing how you can shake these out. You can wash them off right. with your hose. I was in the garage and I'm always using the blower to blow the leaves out. Yeah. I took the blower to the mat, blew all the dirt yeah. out of the mat, and do. it was good as new again yeah. to continue to trap all that dirt By and the sand. Way, they can, you can easily wash them. Peter also will get you hooked up with a pressure washer too. And if you really want to dynamically clean anything, <laughs> right. uh, including these, you can blast everything off. But sure. Pete shows you basically shake it out. That's all you need to do. And maybe once every couple of months, throw a little uh, dish soap on there and rinse it out. Yep, with a hose. Use your garden That's hose. all yeah. you do. Absolutely. Now, Peter, I am still not seeing any, <laughs> there's no trace of the set. What's under, you got a, you got a trap door under there. Nope, yeah. all that dirt's in there. So what's neat about it is, so watch, so we've got another, we've, oh, we, we want to check out those colors. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, let I me do ahead. that really quick. So uh, this is black cherry. That's a neat color. It really is. All right, very limited. This is? The green. Evergreen. Yeah. I wasn't sure if we called it green or evergreen, but it's evergreen, which it looks like. It's kind of a deep green. This is that beautiful flint, I believe it's flint. called. Flint. Are we calling it flint? It's flinty. All right, it's pretty much gray. And then you know what this is? Jute. I know this. This is jute. Yeah, that beige color. That's a really nice neutral. Love this. So this will go with anything. Over here, this is the hall of shame of rugs because everybody's <laughs> had this thing, right? <laughs> Look at this thing. What? Why even bother? with this, it's so thin, there's no tread on it. I mean, that's not gonna get anything. This is too tight. And yeah. this also harbors bacteria, this one here, by the way. Can they get moldy and stanky? Well, it's just putting a Look little bit. Look how little bit. you're putting on right. there. I, here, let me work sits, it in. It sits on top, and that's where it's you start to search for those clean areas on your mat. Yeah. Peter, show, show your boot thing, because I want everybody yeah. to see that. So what happens is, after all that dirt I've been putting in there, remember, this muddy boot or sand and grit, when you go over that mat again, it's going to work, no matter how much sand that I've already put in there. All of that sand is in there, and it keeps working. And there you can see the, the negative, right? That mat that you've had yeah. it for so long, or you know you've what? had it You're for a short welcome. time. You're not welcome with that, Pete. That says <laughs> welcome. You're not welcome. Well, now watch the difference with this, okay? Because they're like little, they're almost like little picks that go up inside the tread of your shoe. Right, right. And they get rid of it. Now, Peter, you've, let me yeah. show everybody the, the before. Look at there it is. Now, watch. This was all the sand that came out of there, and That's it still crazy. continues to work. So, I mean, again, you can, you can see this mat, how durable it is. I, I love that, that you're not going to be spending money every single year. I mean, you know you've had that mat, and you like it because it looks great. Easy. And then in just a few months, it's wet, it's dirty, yeah. and then you're buying a new one. Here, you're going to have easy cleaning with this. I, I don't think I've ever cleaned it. I've almost always just shake it out. I, as I said, I took the blower to yeah. it the other day and blew all the dirt out of it, and it's as good as new. But it really does such a nice yeah. job. You're going to be cleaning you less, get, right? Sweeping. Yeah, and by the way, I know I haven't reminded you enough, but you get two of these. So front uh, front porch, back porch. You know what uh, uh, my dad did when he, when he had his first astronaut turf mats? He cut one of them in half and he used it when he would go because he was a, uh, he snorkeled at the beach and he would go clamming and he would get sand all over his feet and his shoes. Nice. He'd take it out of the car and he'd scrape his feet <laughs> and put it perfect. back in. I was like, you know, that's a pretty dang smart dad. Anyway, uh, if you would like to get two of these, it's only $29.95. Good job, Pete. I know you got something. Peter's got something that's a steal coming up right next. Right, Pete? The trimmer? That's going to be awesome. Before we do that, Kyle, we had a lot of people pick up our chandelier. How many, Kyle? Kyle said a lot. Close to a 1,000 people. Dang, I hope we have some of those left. I love that item. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going we're gonna to come back. We're going to have great stuff. Where are you? You're over there. All right. We are going to take a quick break, but we're going to come back. We're going to show you the ultimate tool to manicure your yard. So stick around. Be right back. 
Since 2011, HSN Cares and Habitat for Humanity have been helping women realize their dream of home ownership. HSN Cares believes in giving back. You're building lives. HSN actually cares. For the entire month of May, HSN Cares will donate $1 from every at-home item sold during at-home shows. None of this could have happened without your donations. Thank you for helping me make my dream a reality. HSN Cares is the heart of everything we do. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that. The possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started or you know your way around a glue gun, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say YES to DIY at HSN. We got some brand new configuration for springtime and for summer. I, where were you like a month ago when I needed this really, really badly? My hedges. We all need this, right? Well, you know, Pete's been to my house and so because we're buddies, and, and I've got hedges that run across the front of my uh, three picture windows, and those dang things grow so fast. And if they get up high enough, the house gets dark, and, I, and I'm trying sure. to keep the light on there, so I have to trim them. The last thing I want to do is go and get that industrial trimmer out of my shed and run a 40 foot or 50 <laughs> foot cord. That's the hard part is the cord. Not only that, do you know how many cords I've cut? And had to get a new one? I remember my father doing that when I was Twice younger. Twice in one week right, I did it. With the head trimmer. But, yeah. but there you're seeing, it's so easy. And you know, many of us don't need a giant head trimmer. This one is super convenient, guys. Oh my you gosh. know what I love about this? And uh, hopefully my wife, Debbie, is watching. What Debbie likes to do, and so many, many of us like to do that, we're not able to say, hey, you know what? On Saturday, I'm going to spend all day doing the yard work. Yeah. But maybe just, you know, as a re relaxation, you know, at the end of the day, you want to go out there. Yeah. And you say, oh, you know what? This is just a couple of detail work, you know, things that I want to do. I want to just get the hedges shaped up. Yeah. I want to just make sure that some of the weeds and some of the grass that's getting overgrown, I can just take care of it in just a few minutes. Right. And this is going to be Peter, perfect will for you that. Show everybody what they yeah. get because I think it's important. I'll hold it up. Right. So you're, so gonna get. you're getting the unit, lithium ion battery, rechargeable, which is really nice. Then what's neat is you're getting two blades. So you're getting the grass shears or the trimmer, and then you're getting the six inch hedge trimmer. So quick and easy, you can switch those blades back and forth. See, I can take that off and then put it right back in there. So right. you switch back and forth. So you get one unit. One unit and the right. two and sets of teeth. Two sets of the, uh, you know, the cutting blades. So trimmer smart. and that and I'm gonna give you that okay buddy. but today we've added something to make this I think incredible and, and you were talking about it earlier guys yeah is the walking stick so now you can take your grass trimmer so so I've got the trimmer blade on there I've got a telescoping pole and look at that it just sits in there and we have wheels oh my so gosh. now all this little detail trimming that you want to do you don't have to do it down on your hands and knees so the trimmer is great yeah but now, look at that. Look how it just sits the in there. Grass trimmer. And you can see there's a little cord in the bottom that just connects to this. Yeah. So now, instead of operating it with this trigger, I'm going to be able to what? operate it well, right there. It's now, me. Peter's going to show you how that works. Yep. But will you hold this one for a sec, Pete? Yeah. Because this is this is the money right here for me. Go ahead. Well, you love the, right. the hedge trimmer. Well, because I, I have an industrial hedge trimmer that I have to plug in to a, to a plug that's 50 feet from where I have to do it. I have to constantly take the, the wire with me. It's a pain. And all I want to do is a quick fix. So right. watch what I can do. Now, you'll see here is a, a, a shrub or a hedge or a bush very similar to mine. And watch how I can basically manicure it. I don't want to talk over it, so I'm just going to show you. Watch. Look. Look at this. So I can cut it right to the top. Look at It's not real loud or noisy. And I am manicuring this, just like I'm using a pair of scissors, only these are powered. Look, I can take the top off. Look, Look at that. I can, I can just glide it down, and I am trimming I'll get right there. And Peter, it'll go through thick branches. Exactly. You know what I what I like when I'm Done. watching you do that. You can what? shape that so perfectly. Yeah. So maybe it's a topiary that you have outside the front door. You know, kind of you know framing out your front door. It's going to be perfect. And the other thing is, you know, when you when you're thinking about 
you know, those hedges and you have to get out the big hedge trimmer. So many times, I know you've walked in the house, I've done this, and you look at the hedges and there's just two of them that have grown and they're like Bro, six. Yeah, yeah. And all you need to do is go out there and just take those 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 two down yeah. and then it's it's really nice and neat. So on a, on a daily basis, you can head out there with this. Earthwise has done a really great job, I think, with all the lithium ion technology. So now that we have batteries that we don't have to worry about all the cords and certainly don't have to worry about gas and things like that. And it's easy starting every time you use it. So I do love it. So Guy, you were able to show that. Yeah. I want to be able to show them just again can how we, we can use it, this. Can we walk along that line like we do sometimes or no? I, I, I certainly can. I was doing that earlier and it, was, this. and it was so nice. But even just yeah. showing you here, but we if can you do think it that's with okay. The, with the, maybe with the jib camera. Yeah, just showing this. We'll try to because show Because this is there kind of go. the area Thanks, that, it, that it works so well. I was doing this earlier. Look at where, it. When you have the grass that's just getting onto that See, sidewalk, the driveway, awesome. the wall. I mean, that, it's incredible. So look at that, what I've done already. So here's where I haven't done, and I started right there. And you can see that I'm just walking oh. along back and forth. And actually it looks, you can see it because it's, the grass hasn't look been cut. Look at how clean that but is. But now the edge looks so great. So look at that, I want you to see it this way. All I'm doing is rolling that back and forth. Again, it's so convenient. You can have this hooked up just like this, or you can have it handheld because it's all about the detail work. And it's not about spending those eight hours, I think on that Saturday right. or Sunday. It's being able to grab this, run outside and say, you know what? All that grass has overgrown that sidewalk a little bit. And in seconds, you can take care of that. Let's get some it of It only weighs area. a couple of pounds in your hands. So, uh, and the battery is rechargeable, which is what Earthwise has been doing for a long time. And we love that because I don't want to be tethered to a cord. And if you've used a regular hedge trimmer, like I said, and I will tell you, when I was living in Reading to drive across from Kurt and Michelle Pete knows sure. we've known each other for, for 10, 15, 20 years, whatever it is. Uh, we had a neighbor across the street and I would be out. I'll never forget. I was doing, I was doing uh, uh, shrubs outside and uh, poor Carolyn, bless her heart. She was like, be careful out there. I went through two cords in the same day. It's because I ran over the uh, the the power wire because I didn't see it. I was, I was and it, it chopped right in half. You know, this one much more user friendly. It weighs a lot less. Oh, of and course. it does the same job. We want something that's going to be easy to use because here's what we want to do. We want to be able to say, oh, you know what? Look at those hedges. If I could just take a couple of minutes and chop off the top, or I just want to be able to trim up that grass. Now we were showing you along the. Uh, along that driveway or that walkway there. But think about all the detail work, even with this and a handheld. And I'm gonna grab that one from you, Guy. Go ahead, buddy. Because I think what's so I'll cool is that you're gonna be able to do that detail work in and around the garden, in and around that raised flower bed, where you can just use this and this do the detail awesome work key. with the trimming and then do exactly what Guy's doing. Look at this. And do that detail work on the hedges. Two in one is always nice. Battery operated. That's how simple. I think Earthwise has brought us so thing. many great, cordless items yeah obviously i think we all know that's where the technology is going so just real quick about lithium ion battery i think you know this what's neat is when we start with this and we've got that power we're going to maintain that same power i think you remember just like i do you were using those battery operated tools and after a few minutes the power would just slowly go down, right. down and down so even halfway through the power was gone here full power until that battery is completely gone yeah and then all you do is basically plug it in like you do your cell phone and you're charging that again so here this is in the handheld and then I want to show you this here it is when we're using it with the walking stick with the walking stick all you're doing is I've plugged it into the back right there so now I can utilize the handle up front but watch this here's all it's just basically pushed in there let me just get this this way you pull that out just like that and I have right. it as the handheld if I want to use the walking stick again I push that in place and then all I'm doing is plugging that right in the back. Hey, Pete, and now I'm set and to go. a little that charge cool? indicator on the back too, right? Is that what this little thing is right there? Yeah. Does that light up so you know when you're good to go? Yeah, when you're charging it, you'll be able to see a full charge. And on it's the gonna, back. I think a full charge is maybe about three to five hours you're going to be able to get that completely charged. But in terms of runtime, doing all that detail work, you're going to find that the runtime is fantastic it works. It works to get that so work well. done. God, you really liking that hedge trimmer the best. I mean, you know why? Because like I said, I got hedges all over my house. <laughs> right. I've got them on the side yard and the front yard, and it's one of my biggest problems. Um, and I've been running this thing for about five, 10 minutes, got plenty of power. You, it, I'm sure you could probably do everything you need with one cycle of this. Probably last you 20, 30 minutes, when you, sure. and that's really all you need to do your trimming. And then you charge it up and it's quick charge again. You charge it for a couple hours, you're right back good to go. Um, it's so much user, more user friendly than a big hedge trimmer, which 
is a little daunting. That's that's like a, a step away well, from chainsaw. The big one, it's a little scary. Exactly. This is yeah. a six inch blade moving back and forth. So that's two blades moving back and forth for the head trimmer. But again, if you're just trying to trim it up, you're trying to shape it, you're trying to really create just a, a good look, you don't need that huge, huge, this is for the detail work. Having an 18 inch blade, it just might be more than you need. I like that because it's so light, that guy, if you wanted to shape that, maybe you can't quite do the uh, the animals that you see was, in some I of, the, was, some I was of shooting, the theme parks. I was going for a panda. You could probably but do I a panda cut with the this, center out but to it's give him just a waste. so easy. So the trimmer is extremely lightweight and easy to use, and then the head trimmer. Oh, and, and remember, you're switching the blades back and forth. There's just one button right here. It couldn't be simpler. You push that button, you pull the blade off, you switch to the other one. Look it at clips that. back in place. This is his head area. So I'm working on the head of my animal. This could go in Disney, right? Now, almost ready for Disney. It's pretty close. Right? <laughs> He needs a little right. practice, but honestly, you can do it. Topiaries is what I think of most yes. often. People like to have them in their back garden or out sure. in front of the house, and you can trim it up so easily and then take care of weeds and all the other things quickly. You, uh, you, ornamentals, whatever it is that you need to fix up, you can do that with this, um, and you'll get a great result out of it. Remember, uh, you have the, the trimmer for the stick. grass. I love the walking it's stick. That's the extra. Wheels. That's included. Uh, nothing to put in this other than <clears throat> plug it in, charge it up, and you're good to go. Thank you so much, Pete. Thanks, guys. Good job, Appreciate buddy. It. Um, at home comes back on Tuesday. What do we have, Kyle, for Tuesday? Decor Solutions. Uh, it might be me. I think I might be working that show. And then uh, May 22nd, we have a brand new today special, which is a three in one solar planter. Love that item. Uh, and then we have storage and organization. Uh, that is a little bit later in the month. 27th is going to be Home Solutions. So if you tune into At Home, remember all our donations for Habitat for Humanity. Uh, what's coming up next? Ron Shear with Robin. See you guys next time. See you tomorrow morning.